Hi, my name is Katrina Tawil, and I am a Creative Memories Advisor in West Fork, Arkansas. And I wanted to take a minute today to tell you about creating a custom spine for your Happy Album. Now, the Happy Album is one of my very favorite products, and I fill out one of these for each year. So, of course, I wanted to have a custom spine for my absolute favorite album. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And um, while I have it here, I want to point out that my spine and my album don't match. It is very uncommon for Creative Memories to offer spines in the same color as our happy albums. So I have chosen to do something very contrasting and fun with the album because it's my happy album. So on the navy, I put the mint though. So. Anyway, um, the first thing we're gonna do is measure the height of our happy album. Now, I don't know about you, but I use my trimmer for everything. So I've taken out, you know, the spine from the existing one and I can hold it down here and see that it's about 10 and an eighth. So 10 and an eighth to 10 and a quarter. That's how long it is right here. So that's going to come into play when we go to our Creative Memories website and start creating an album. I'm going to share that screen now. Now, I'm not going to give you a huge in-depth on how to do spines because there are videos for that, but I'm going to show you specifically what I do to make it work for the happy album. So, of course, the very first thing you do is you log in, then you're going to go to create digital photo albums and choose the custom foiled spine. Now, then we're just going to say view details. And it's going to take a second to load. And then right here, the start here, if you've never done a spine before, that's the place to go for all the ins and outs of how to create a spine. I'm just going to kind of randomly pick um, these two options just to get us to the page for doing the spine. All righty. Okay, so what I, the very first thing I do is I take, um, I don't use this bottom one. I mean, you can, you can leave it there if you want to, but I usually delete that. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it and get it out of my way. Of course, you can always put it back later. So I take this big box and I do the transform and I'm gonna slide it down so that it's hitting a height of, you know, right around that 10 and an eighth to 10 and a quarter mark. So my top line now is, see right about where it was on the, the length of the happy spine. Then I take this bottom and I drag it all the way down to the very bottom line. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna give me the exact height of my happy album spine. Um, and so I can center my text on there and know that it will be centered on my happy album. So that's really the biggest thing that I do. I'm gonna put happy album 2021. All right, so now you can see when you look at this and when you go to the preview, it's not centered, but I know that because I've chosen my box to top out at around that 10 and a quarter to 10 and an eighth mark, that it's going to be centered on my happy album. I may even just smoosh it down. Just it's kind of hard to get it exact, so nobody's going to notice if it's off just a teeny, teeny bit. So it's just going to be close enough. And so that is how I center it up. And so if you wanted to go back in and add, you know, the little one at the bottom or turn something around, all you have to remember is that you need to be working in this area and below the 10 and a quarter ish area and below. And if you do that, center things in that boundary, then it will be centered whenever you do it on your happy album. Now I'm going to take a pause and stop my share and switch over to an overview. Um, we're gonna pretend that I've already ordered my happy album spine because I did, and I'm gonna show you how I 
um, take it down so that it fits into my happy album. So hang tight for just a second. I'm gonna show you how I take a 12 inch spine and make it fit our smaller happy album. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take out the existing spine so that I can measure. Then I'm gonna use the scoring blade on the handy dandy trimmer. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is measure what this one is. Let me do it this way. All right, so this one is about ten and an eighth. So you see, I can I have offset my text so that it's geared towards the bottom here. So I'm going to measure this at the 10 and an eighth, and then I'm going to give it a good hard score. Then I'm going to turn it over and do it the same on the other side. All right. And then, then I'm ready to fold this down and you know I'll use something else to give it just a good solid smashing let's just call it and then I can take it and put it into my happy album push down from the ends, not from the center. There you go. And see how I've made a really fun color to go with the 2021 album. I just think those are good colors together. Thanks for watching.